gonna be a long year, folks. Buckle up. If you've been following me for a while or you've been following me for a short time, pretty evident that your girl is a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. I've got family in Pittsburgh on my mom's side of the family. I thought, let me take you guys on a journey. Let me take you on a journey of what it's like for not only me to be a Steelers fan, but most importantly, most importantly, what it's like from my mom. I figured uh, this would be really, really cool to give you an inside look as far as our thoughts, all of our emotions, all of our anger, all of our hurt, all of our, all of our everything, right? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. Subscribe. I, I should have the subscription thing somewhere around here. The Pittsburgh Steelers are at home week one against the San Francisco 49ers. We're pumped, we're excited, we're stoked. We've got our Steelers gear on and we are ready and locked and loaded. <sighs> Things didn't really go as planned. Things kind of took a turn for the worse. The Steelers didn't get a first down until like two minutes before halftime. Whew, Mama Joyce, man, Mama Joyce. She was fired up. She was she was definitely fired up at halftime. And, and uh, let's find out ultimately how Mama Joyce felt about, uh, about that first half performance because uh, it was not good. It was not good. We look like hot garbage. Back to Deontay Johnson being Deontay dropsing. Mom, we literally did not get a first down until less than two minutes less in the, in the first half. You can thank the offensive coordinator for a lot of this crap. Let's just put it this way. Thank God they got that touchdown before we ended and we had to go for a fourth and goal in order to make that doggone thing happen. This is ridiculous. How do you come off of having such a great preseason? Okay, like they say, past performance is not indicative of future performance. This is a complete great example. As they say, protect the crib, okay? We ain't protecting nothing. Not even a dollhouse at this point in time. All I can do is hope that they come out with some fire, they get more engaged, and they just put on the jets and maybe they can even the score up. Yeah. We gonna see. Yeah, so things didn't really get any better. Unfortunately, as a Steelers fan, it's just the same crap, different day. We've been looking at the same offense for the past three years. It just really looked like more of the same. So, um, it's gonna be a tough year. It's gonna be a tough year. The second half really wasn't any better. And Mama Joyce um, had quite, she had quite a lot to say about the second half performance. Nothing has changed. None of the offensive schemes have changed. We look like we did last year. We do not have time to be figuring this out. That was what camp and preseason was about. But we're either going to get plays that allow us to accentuate Kenny Pickett's skill sets, or Matt Canada's gonna have to think about getting another job. Cause this ain't gonna yeah. work for another year. I am thoroughly disgusted with what I saw to the point that I had to walk away from the game and do other things and then come back and look at it because I knew it was <laughs> curtains for us. You walked I, away? I walked away because I could not take it anymore. I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. My expectations are not very high this year, but I at least expect for us to show up and compete. We didn't do that today. If they can't get it together, then Deshaun Watson is going to be all over us and your father is going to have a heyday because you know how he loves him some Deshaun Watson. Even though, guess what, y'all? He's a Ravens fan. This is probably a week I'm just going to have to forget about. Me too. And move on because it was just that bad. Like I said, just lock and load, man. It's going to be a long season. Steelers versus Browns, Monday night, next week. <laughs> Wow. <sighs>